I challenged myself and tried bluffing a mentalist. Let's see how I did. What's up guys, I'm here with Timo Krause, one of the best mentalists in Germany, even in the world. We're going to play some games. Yeah, we're testing your poker face today. Fedor, I got a few more games prepared for you. I found like a little, I, I don't even know what that is. A pin, we call it a pin. Uh, you gotta hide it behind your back one on your hands, you're gonna bring your hands to the front. So I kind of see where the pin is. So you're gonna extend your hands and you're gonna make a statement. The statement is either gonna be the pin is in my right hand or it's gonna be the pin is in my left. I'm gonna try to figure out whether you're telling the line or whether you're telling the truth. I think you're ready for me, hands out. All right, make a statement about where the pin is. The pin is in my left hand. I believe that is truth. I believe it is in your left hand, is that? Fantastic. That's what I did We're gonna do the same thing again. Yeah. And then you're ready to bring the hands out again. Mm -hmm. The pin is in my right it's hand. It's all lie. It's actually in my left hand, isn't it? Fantastic. So next round done. The pin is in my left hand. That's uh, truth. Again, it's in your left hand, isn't it? Oh, okay. Fantastic. Good thing I did. We got it once. I got <laughs> Taking this very serious. The pin is in my left. Uh, that's true. It is in your left hand. Oh, okay. Let's move on to the next game. I got a few games. We're going to play like a game of like lying and truth in the moment as well. You're going to take these cards behind your back. You do, you're going to mix them. You got to put them on your hand like this. I'll take a look at them. One of them is red, one of them is black, and you will make a statement about uh, what. First, you mix them, bring them to the front. It's important that you likely don't know which card is what you just did. And you're going to pick it one, you're going to say, okay, see what this is. Is this a red card? Is that true or is it not? You tell me. It's a lie. That is a lie. Okay, great. So gonna eat here runs. There you go. Tell me what it is. I want to know what it is. Okay. Pick one of cards. Okay. Is this a red card or a black card? It's a black card. Uh that's a lie. It's a red card. Okay. Let's do it again. Look at one of them. Okay, make a statement. This is a red card. Can you peek at that one? Make a statement. This is a black card. Uh no, no, no. It's both true. Catch. Good. Let's do it again. It's funny because I think you're always like testing me to see whether or not I'm like using a trick or something. Like you're always trying to figure out what I'm doing. So I'm trying to be very focused on you. Yeah. Okay. Peek up and down one, please. It's a black card. That's true. Okay, Bert. He's right. <laughs> you want to try? I want to try and see what the mentalist is made of. Okay, guys, do it with me. Uh, let's start with this. That's a right card. You would not do something like that. I feel this. So I feel so like that. You would not. You would not say it like that. Obviously, lying if it would be a lie. So I think it's the truth. It is true. It's a red card. Okay. Like I'm really happy that Peter is such a good poker player. But to some extent, like this is attacking my ego. I used to be like the most observative person in the room, and I'm not anymore. And like there's people that are apparently so much better at this than I am, which is you. You're about to tell a lie. Huh? Maybe I'm not. Try it. It's a red card. It's a lie. Yeah. <laughs> Only shit. Right. A few words. A few words. Let's go another game. So, so this one is actually it's it's just shows again it's so hard to lie. Like and and how important it is because everyone can if you practice it well and I think you start to get a good feeling for humans. You know, you can detect it well. I mean, it's an it's an obvious one, but do you realize that one of your tells in like all nine games that we've played, whenever you were telling the truth, that we literally nodding? Uh, that's why I tried to nod. Okay, that's why you tried to nod when you were lying. Okay, because it looked different and you were always yeah. nodding along. People always ask me like, do you recognize a lie because someone's like lifting their eyebrow or looking up to the right or looking up to the left? And I'm like, well, you can recognize it, but only if you know that they usually look up to the right when they're telling the truth. And they might deviate from that one line, but someone else might always look up to the left and then deviate the other way. Ooh, interesting. I'm trying to look more for, we call it population tendencies. Okay. So it might not be correct all the time for this particular yeah. person, but it's a tendency that people show on average. So it's never that black white. Like people always think it's like a superpower and you walk through life. You always know when someone's telling a lie or the truth instantly. And it's like, well, I got two more for you. This is not a normal dying. It doesn't have numbers on it. And so it has the signs of the zodiac on there. I'm gonna mix it up a bit. You're gonna pick a new sign of zodiac. Mm. I'm gonna put it upwards so we can check later. You're gonna cover it with your hands so I can't see it. At first, you're gonna make three statements. I'm picking cancer right now, so I'm gonna cover it. And I would say to you, I am a cancer. I'm a Gemini. I'm a Libra. You're gonna figure out which one of them is true. Go. Cool. 
I'm a cancer, I'm a fish, I'm a lion. So you get a certain sense of tension in your voice whenever you're lying. In this case, obviously, it was two lies, but I think the tension was there right at the beginning when you said, I'm a cancer, and it quickly fell off at the end of it because, and I think this is how I got to this, I think because cancer is the one that you didn't want me to realize was the truth. So you're very tense there, and then you relaxed much more as you fell off towards the end. So I think it's cancer. The cancer. Good. He was right. Okay, shadow one. <laughs> I'm a cancer, I'm a lion, I'm a fish. <laughs> Great one. So, okay, let me do the sale. I think you were lying for the first statement. I felt like a statement around I'm a lion had a different, more full voice than the other two. But you also came up with this thing very quickly. It was the same that we with your name. Yeah, yeah, but I think it's a bit more likely. That makes it a bit more likely. I think that it's lion or cancer. If it's cancer, you would immediately think to just say the same. So I'm lion? I think so, yeah. It's cancer. Good. Well let's, done. Let's move it up. Let's move it up. Okay. It's cancer again. It was cancer. Now it's cancer again. It's cancer. Bobby told you so. <laughs> oh, now I do four. Okay, now do four. Okay, and then okay, and then okay. I'm a Sagittarius. I'm an Aquarius. I'm the Balance. I'm a fish. So you didn't have the same tension at the beginning of making your statement. So when I rule out the Sagittarius, then you were nodding when you said, uh, what was the second one, Sagittarius? You don't know anymore. So it's not that one. It's not the same. Do you know? Okay. What's the second one? Aquarius. Aquarius. You were nodding when you did the Aquarius. And I think you did that because we were talking about that your teller is nodding. So I think there was a little too much. It wasn't like the smooth one. Then the fish was said the same way that you said the fish before. So I'm going to say the balance because we're also thinking for a while about what that's called. It's a Libra. <laughs> So, that's, uh, actually, I should have shown it was red. Yeah, that'll be great. Sweet. Libra means Libra back scale. Yeah, it's a scale. So I'll do four, you know, as well. And I'll go away. Okay. I'm a Scorpio. I'm a Leo. I'm a mountain goat. I'm a Gemini. Mount Goat Steinbock. Okay. I actually remember, I, I totally thought the wrong way. The others are the lie. I, I was like, yeah, I'm lying. Three times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, the, okay, the, the second one is a lie. I don't have like a crazy good thing to go by in this game, I have to say. Like, okay. I found that Leo was a lie. The mountain goat it seemed a little too comical. That's, that could be something that you could come up with for your roots. I think that's something that you would. Because I did like the mountain goat. Yeah, I had like overdoing it. Like, I think that's something you could certainly do. So that's my favorite so far. But I didn't have something like look at you and be like, okay, that feels like the, the truth. I don't have like a particular thing. I would rule out the Leo. Yeah, um, yes. yeah. okay. Good. Interesting. The thing I realize now is actually the same in poker where you pick up things and then you don't know what they mean. I mean, I saw that there were different things happening with you, but I was like, I actually don't know if this now means you deviate to it being a lie. Like, yeah. and then I don't know like how to translate it into something. And I think when you learn this, when you play it a hundred times, when you see actually like where people, yeah, what they do when they lie or when they tell the truth. And I'm also sure that I couldn't have done this with you. Like when we just started filming, I think like this now, you know, me to like figure like you get on every get on the level a little bit. Yes, I have figured out. <laughs> Okay, so we do one last one. We'll do the truth and lie. I think we're really good at this, like the classic truth and lie. So let's think of three stories. We're gonna mm. think of three like good stories, okay? I'm great. And it's a certain moment. He has great stories. I'm gonna take one as well to like figure out some anecdotes. Mm. Uh, but one of them is gonna be a lie. I have to tell. Yes. All right. We start from left. Okay. To right. Sure. First story. I used to dance competitive ballet. Second story. I climbed Kilimanjaro. Third story. I used to live in Canada. I know which one is a lie. She never tried to kill the dog. Or you just did a really good bluff and you did it all purpose. I got it. No. Which one is the lie? Guess again. Canada, because I think your dad's ballet. Ballet is the lie. Really? Oh, no. You're such a ballet guy. Like, comes and get a guy. I thought it's the perfect lie. Oh, no, so good. That was such a good lie. Let's hear your three lies. So I used to live in New Zealand and on my right thigh, I have like a Maori tattoo and I still regret that because it feels like cultural appropriation. I used to perform naked or almost naked in a club in Berlin, sex club in Berlin. I was doing mentalism, but I was almost naked. And I uh, performed a moon night, oh, sorry, a full moon midnight ritual for a cult in Amsterdam. So there's two ways here. 
Okay. I was, I'm pretty sure it's the naked or the cult. I, I, I think it's the cult. I think the cult is the lie. I think the tattoo would be so smart to take as a lie because you just showed me your, your tattoo before. I feel it's like a story that's like almost always true. I think the cult is the lie. No, those two are true. So cult and naked are true. The tattoo is a lot hard. I do not have a, not have a, like I had an appointment to get a Mari tattoo once to get a full sleeve done years ago. And like the guy just didn't show up. And it seemed like such a thing you would yeah, do. I, I have a bunch of tattoos, but not this unfortunately. Or fortunately, I guess. Thank you so much. So we both totally fucked up this. <laughs> none, none of us, none of us look good here. So you see how much information is hidden at the poker table. For more information on big lifetiles, go check out my other videos and subscribe to Poker Code.